Well, hello, YouTube viewers, and welcome to an overview demonstration of the new iMovie 10. Now, as you can see from the layout on my uh, computer, iMovie has changed quite a bit from the previous version into this new one. Some of the main changes are these adjustment and enhance buttons up here settings bars along here that deal with the color correction, brightness, opacity of some uh, of the video. And down here to the left, transitions, titles, maps and backgrounds, iTunes, uh, music, sound effects and a link for the garage band. Uh, I find it slightly more difficult uh, to use this new version of iMovie but at the end of the day it's it's a thing you just have to get used to. Uh, clips of videos work roughly in the same way that they used to. You would select a video for example a piece of footage there and this time you press a button it's just a little plus and drop it straight in to your iMovie. As you can see it works okay there's no sound added to this one and then deleting just press your delete bar and away it goes. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new small movie. Not, not very long, but nice and small. So we go up here to the top button to create. Press the button, you get the option movie or trailer. We're going to go down the route of movie. And it should now give us some options of a theme. There, there are some new ones in iMovie, but for... To, well, to save a little bit of time, I, I'll let you sort that one out. Uh, I'm going to go down here and we're going to do France or this uh, travel one. So I'm going to select and do uh, give it a name, France uh, movie, sorry, uh, and uh, press OK. So that's our new theme, uh, which is France movie. And I'm just going to go and select a uh, small amount of video. I was over... Uh, I'm actually a travel editor, so I use this quite a bit, and I was in a, a chateau in France not so very long ago. Uh, this was one of the bedrooms that I'd stayed in. Small piece of uh, footage there, so we'll just play that. And as you can see, France movie, August uh, 2013. Now, interestingly, the theme picks up the date that the film was filmed. So it knows straight away August 2003, which is uh, it's very intuitive and uh, you certainly got to take your hat off to that. Personally, I'd put a capital in there. Don't know if I can. F R A N C. France movie August 2013. Okay, so small piece of video. These are the transitions here, this button here and this button here. If you double click on them, the option appears up here. So you can click and there are quite a number of new transitions. So the cube is actually quite a nice one. I quite like that. Double click. That will, t oh sorry, you drag it down. You see a plus, hold it over and then we'll try and run the uh, transition and it should give us a mosaic but obviously we don't see the full effect because we need to put a bit more uh, footage in there so uh, one of the meals that I had is that a photo that's photo photo yeah there's a there's a bit more footage drop that in and that was uh, I think that was a cross dissolve. It is a cross dissolve. Now, that should have changed, but because we've got a transition going on here, uh, it keeps the transitions in line with the theme uh, that we were using. Uh, click on a picture, just drop in a picture. Some of the food that I had in this, well, in fact, all the food that I had in this restaurant was absolutely unbelievable. A uh, beautiful place called Chateau Montreuil. So, let's back to the beginning of our timeline, press play, and we'll see the transitions 
working our new iMovie and it's even put in a final created by Tim Hedgley. Now, need to bring in a little drop of music so we go down to the left hand side here and down to sound effects. They will load uh, or pressing sound effects will load uh, our music files. Let's have a look. If memory serves me right we go to jingles and uh, there is a piece of music called travel or something along those lines which is quite a nice one. That's more than acceptable. Drag that, oops. And we'll drag travel down to here. Press play. So, what we'll do now is go and drop in another picture. Well, that's a picture. I want a bit of film. Uh, let me have a look. It's all really pictures. I thought I'd actually take a little bit more video, but we'll stick here. Uh, we'll stick a picture in. So. <laughs> If you find the music a little bit loud, if you remember on the old iMovie, you can just bring your mouse down to this line, left click and then reduce the music somewhat uh, if you need to do that. There was a way that you used to click on the actual music line and you would get a little setting symbol. It doesn't seem to be there anymore. Uh, I think what's happened is there's, uh, you can fade the music in here. So you can reduce the background noise or use an equalizer up here. So there are different things. You can also do auto sound, reduce or lower the volume of other clips. So all your sound and enhancements are actually now contained within the settings bar up here. If you want to reduce the length of the music, it's quite simply a matter of dragging. Now it used to be you drag, then right click and cut. Now it seems to work just perfectly. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to stick in a transition, which is a fade to black. It's always, whenever you're doing a movie, always important to do a fade to black. Uh, looks, it looks a lot more professional. And as you can see there, that, that seems to work fine. The only other issue I think with uh, iMovie, and we'll, we'll do a, a further, a more detailed look at this, uh, picture in picture. Picture in picture can be a bit of a pain to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, now if I just go into iPhoto Library, which is up here, obviously being involved in the travel industry, uh, there's lots of pictures. So here's, here's a picture of a bedroom uh, of a hotel I stayed in, actually the Savoy Hotel in London. And what we're going to do is I'm going to drag that down on top of the line. And this is actually quite difficult to do. Drag it over the top, and there you see it's sitting over the image of this particular section. Now, what are we going to do with this? Well, quite simply, and this at the minute is a cutaway. So instead of doing a right click and do picture in picture, it's up here, and you have a look, and here are your options. So there we go, picture in picture. And that image now should be there. There she blows. In fact, you know, I'm going to change that picture because it's not fair to have two sort of top class hotels, you know, competing it with each other, two different pictures. So I'm going to put a picture of Chateau Montreuil uh, in there and we'll just uh, put a picture of the bedroom. So we'll drop, oops, I'll just go back up here. We'll just draw this back down and then quite odd to get it lined up 
obviously it's a wee bit long here now back up to cutaway picture in picture and you can move that picture in picture anywhere it's quite handy that you can you can do quite a bit more with picture in picture one of the things that I do like about this is you can put a board around it or a thin border that's gone a bit funny I don't know why that's done that uh, or no border I don't know why it's done that but you can put a shadow on it and the drop shadow effect is always good for making uh, a picture look absolutely fantastic so and you can dissolve zoom swaps you can get the Ken Burns effect and that type of thing so let's take our uh, mouse run over the top and there the picture zooms out so that is my first submission for the new iMovie 10 in Maverick